Hello again, we'll take a quick look at the weather around the world now and some of the biggest stories taking place. First of all, we're off to Southeast Asia where the weather has been very hot indeed for the time of year. We've also seen that heat driving some pretty big thunderstorms across parts of Thailand, uh, into Laos and also across into Cambodia as well. It's going to stay pretty hot here over the next few days with temperatures peaking into the low 40s. That is unusually warm for the time of year. Of course, we do get uh, hot weather before the arrival of the monsoon rains, but even so, it is uh, pretty oppressive at the moment. And again, we'll see that heat driving a few more thundery showers as we head through the afternoon. Again, northern Thailand, Laos and Cambodia, the likely areas to see those storms, but we will see things turning a little bit cooler over the next few days. Temperatures back into the 30s as we head into uh, the weekend, for example, in Vietnam, and that kind of scene is repeated across much of Southeast Asia. So the high temperatures easing a little bit. Now, underneath this area of cloud sits New Caledonia and also Fiji. Both areas have been incredibly wet over the last 24 hours. Now, these are the kind of rainfall totals we've had from this area of low pressure. In New Caledonia, up to 258 millimetres of rain. That would be like four months of rain for the UK falling in the space of a day. Meanwhile, in Fiji, 140 millimetres. So torrential rain, no doubt causing some localised flooding impacts. The rain eases away from New Caledonia fairly quickly, but with a low pressure loitering in Fiji, further heavy downpours are expected, although they will slowly become less intense with time. Now, talking about intense downpours, the last 24 hours we've had 100 millimetres of rain in Port Edward in the eastern side of South Africa. This line of cloud you can see here is associated with an upper area of low pressure that's driving some big thunderstorms. Now we could have some hail mixed in with these, some gusty winds over the next few days, and because that upper area of low pressure is very slow moving, those storms will be slow to ease away, only pulling away really later on in the week as the low pressure eases. So we could see some localised flooding and reports of some pretty big hail here over the next day or two.